I'm Ben Moser, Art of War Bantamweight Champion. After high school, I uh, enlisted in the Navy. Um, and while I was in the Navy, uh, uh, I met a couple guys that were practicing jujitsu, and that really like drew me in. I liked uh, everything about it. Um, just seeing how technical it is, and it's it's changed my life. You know? um, I did my four years. I got out, and I found uh, a gym in Lebanon. It was a Five Stone Fight Club, and I found some dudes that were, you know, doing some striking, and um, just kept growing from there. Um, I got to a, a point where I was at the ceiling at that gym. I found effort in martial arts, and I shifted over here uh, to keep growing. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a balance. I work a full-time job, you know, seven to five every day at Wangers and Myerstown. Um, and during fight camp, I work. You know, I get up in the morning. I can do cardio and conditioning. Uh, I go to work. I come home. I shit, shower, shave. Uh, say hi to the wife and kids. Uh, well, kid, I have one 11-year-old, and uh, I'm back in the gym from 7 to 9.30 every night. Um, so, yeah, it's a, it's a balance. Um, she's super supportive. She cooks for me, has meal prep, um, helps me with my weight cuts. So that's uh, a huge plus to have a, a big support system. Um, I want to make waves, man. I want to see if I can get the call, uh, you know, to World Series of Fighting or CFFC or, you know, I just want to push myself um, as far as I can go. Um, I feel like if I'm not pushing myself, I just feel like a lazy bag of scum <laughs> sitting at home. Um, I mean, my little one, she's super supportive too. She does gymnastics and stuff like that and loves uh, loves learning some stuff at home. I have a mat at home and, and I teach them jujitsu and stuff. And uh, it's cool to just have a, you know, a support system at home like that. Um, what drives me is, um, I don't know, I'm just, I, I just like the, I like the violence. I mean, I'm super happy dude all the time but I get in that cage and I just like that that shift for that you know that week my mindset changes and I'm just ready to punish something <laughs> uh, that, I don't know I don't know I just like MMA <laughs> I've been working with Ben for about three years he, and he fancies himself a grappler and he certainly is but I think he's actually he's pretty well rounded I mean Ben's got strikes his knees are just vicious I've never seen him fire a knee that his opponent didn't get crippled by. So uh, he's, he's a good all-around fighter. I mean, it can, go, it can go any way. It can be a knockout. It can be a submission victory. You can't, who knows. If um, I'm, in, I'm in the gym every day of the week um, working on everything, uh, working my stand-up, working my ground game, um, working the clinch. I'm just preparing for a, a, anywhere this fight goes. Same thing we always did, push them hard, grind, 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 strike, grapple. I mean, Ben's all over the place training with high-level guys, so um, he's putting his time and he's putting his work in. As far as us go, same, uh, same thing every day, you know, do the work. Uh, Tish came to our gym uh, a couple months ago. Uh, she's got some great hands on her. Uh, she needed help with her grappling, so... Uh, I started out as a grappling guy. Um, I still consider myself a ground dude. <laughs> so helping Leticia grow and work every aspect of her game is 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 cool. Watching her grow, um, I'm excited for her fight more than pretty much more than my fight. Um, yeah, we just we help each other out. She's pretty close to my weight. I walk around at like 150. She's walking around at like 125. So it's cool to have someone my own size rather than getting smushed by. 170 pound dudes everywhere else I go. Uh, that's a great partner. Uh, he's a little bigger than me, but for the most part, uh, we work really well together. Uh, we, we do everything together. We spar, we roll, uh, we do a lot of cage work. So uh, I know I'm great for him to beat up on. He's great for me to beat up on. And we really, uh, we really help each other out. Uh, I keep him hanging on the wall uh, to keep me motivated. I like, um, I like to work hard and that kind of helps me just keep my keep my mindset strong um, and push to add another one to the wall. Um, I'm with, you know, with a W off this fight, um, I want to turn pro at the end, make my pro debut at the end of the year. Um, a couple of my friends already are, my buddy Matt Turnbull's pro debut on the same night that I defend my title, I'm excited for him. Um, and I can't wait to start throwing some head kicks, some nasty elbows from the clinch. That's, I can't wait. <laughs> Um, it's different once you once you fight another person. There's just a a, a shift in a friendship. You know, uh, I'm friends with everyone I fought um, afterwards. You know, we're never friends beforehand. Um, but afterwards, you know, I really uh, 
I like Matt. He's one of the guys who gave me one of the toughest fights I've ever had. I lost. Uh, I'm a little biased. I think I, I think I could have pulled that one out if I'd done some things differently. But hindsight's always 2020. Um, I would love to fight Matt Turnbull again. Um, I know we've talked about it before and stuff, and maybe that'll come down the road. But um, I'm actually going to train with them in you know, one of these upcoming weekends here to get him ready too. So yeah, we are cheerleaders for each other. Stoked for you, bro. <laughs> Um, I know he's a scrappy guy. I know he's got some, some fights on YouTube I've been watching. Uh, he's 5'8", so I got a little bit of a reach advantage. Um, he's got some quick hands. But other than that, I think, uh, I think I'm going to outclass this guy. Uh, I'm ready to go in there. And like I said, I've been training every aspect of my game, whether it's uh, we go against the cage, we're in the clinch, whether we're just going to stand and throw leather. Um, I'm just going to, you know, looking, looking for um, that finish. I'm going to get my hand raised. It, like I said, it doesn't matter which way we go. Um, I'm just coming for that finish. Um, I honestly don't know. I mean, I, uh, I had a couple offers to come down to 125. I had a couple offers to go up to 145. It seems like no one wants to fight me at my weight, and I don't know why, uh, to be honest with you. I don't want to sound cocky and be that guy that's like, well, you know, no one, no one wants to fight Ben Moser. You know, I don't have uh, an outstanding record. I'm 5-3. and three. I want to take all the hard fights, you know. I want to, I want to push as far as I can. Um, with what I, you know, with what I got. So, they offered me a couple guys that, you know, out of my weight class, and this is the only dude that stepped up at 135. Um, so, kudos to him. Let's let's get it. A shout out to a, I have a ton of sponsors this fight camp. The support is overwhelming. Uh, my MMA news. Thank you guys. Effort of martial arts. My coach Justin Press, Leticia, all my training partners. Uh, I've been bouncing around to a couple other gyms, Lancaster County Jiu Jitsu. Uh, I've been banging around with a couple of the guys from Gracie 717, uh, John Bearcat Brennan, uh, who's also defending his title the same night, March 10th. Um, yeah, yeah, all my sponsors, thank you guys uh, for your support.